All right, this short video, we're just going to go over the amount of recurring events. If you go to my calendar, we'll look at manage events. And we're going to go to uh, my new event that we had set up in a previous uh, video. Let's go ahead and, and look at this. Currently, this is all the events that is selected and picked out so far go ahead and set. That was determined by the program itself. I left this at zero, repeat zero for every one time. Now you can set a specific amount. You could put say 10. If you were to put 10 here, that means it's going to repeat 11. It's going to be 10 plus 1. Okay, so it's 10 plus 1. But if you leave it at zero, my calendar, because right now there's not a there are there is no infinite you know event option I spoke with a developer he says he has plans for some time in the future so a future update may have that but currently it does not so but if you go back to manage events you can look you can see that this one here recurs weekly it determined it's going to set 240 weeks of recurring events this one here recurs weekdays it's set in 400 automatically this recurs monthly by the day. You'll see these on the uh, the events calendar for the business meetings and special events. It will give 60 different occurrences or 60 months. Uh, that's just a, you know these are some predetermined times. The uh, predetermined amount of times it's going to recur if you will leave it set at zero. And then when you get close to the end, you just simply go back in and you're going to. Uh, go back in and if you set the event 2012 just go back and, and reset it for say 2013 2014 whatever after it gets close to the end here uh, weekdays in particular you, you need to check on them about once a year you know just go back and just reset to the new year and then do a save and it's going to do it all over again so it's not a whole lot to it hopefully one day in the near future he will have it set up where he can set up infinite events